Hello Doraemons! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have the most recently asked the Python question which is asked on 31st of January and the next one is heading very soon and the interval between the IRAs have been reduced. I think expecting like the questions would be a lot more simple and easy to solve like one which is asked on 31st January I think this is the most easiest question which you can get in an IRA exam because it's just kind of getting the values and printing the same thing so you can never get such an easy question in an IRA so this is so unbelievable and whoever got this question in their, in their IRA exams are really very lucky like this is not just even performing anything just comparing the things and they have to display just a basic sorting algorithm is used and nothing else so it is a very very easy question and i don't think like not a lot of you people know like need the solution for this and if you have been following my videos you would have solved it very easily okay so for people who have not uh, been in our channel i'm going to just give how we are going to solve this question so we already got uh, the question we have the normal blah blah stories so here they have given the pattern of the object which you are going to get so there will be name brand of the toy and the category of the toy and the quantity like how much it is going to be there and then after that there's going to be the price so there are going to be five things which we are going to get in a single object and they have given like defined and method those stories so let's quickly jump to our input and let's see what we are going to do with it. So firstly they are giving us yen which we are going to use like how many set of objects we are going to get and in one object there is going to be the toy name, toy brand and toy category and the quantity of that category that particular toy available and the price of the toy. So like that we have five set of inputs and in the end they are going to give one category type. So what the output is going to display is they are going to compare only the categories which is given over here. If the category of this object matches with this category then they are going to print that entire object. Like there are three set of objects which matches the category A and we are going to just print the toy name and the quantity which is present and we are going to just sort it in the ascending order and here also we are going to sort it based on the price in the ascending order so that's it you may never come up like this kind of very easy question in uh, IRA and one more thing they have given is if you don't find anything of this category like B1 there is no category of B1 in this toy list so at that time we have to like print toy with matching condition is not available in the toy store so this is the most easiest question which you can get in an IRA and if you want you can go through the things and here they will have the custom input which is right over here you can refer to the below custom input to get an idea like one uh, like some people ask how to get can you give some ideas on how to gather the input type and how it is going to be i recommend you guys to look into the custom input so it will say the first input taken is the main section is the number of toy objects that is added to added to the list of toys which represent this yen and in the next one they say next set of inputs are the value related to the attributes of the toy so like name brand and uh, the price quantity and the category those things which will be mentioned on the top over here like how many attributes we are going to get like that one and in the third line you can see the next line refer inputs the toy category required to be passed as an argument to the first method which is fun one we usually call as so let's quickly jump into the code so it is a very easy code i'm going to just declare my object and within this i'm going to uh, create a init function and here i'm going to get self and here i'm just going to give pass after getting the inputs only we'll be heading on with the uh, like particular operations 
so now i'm just creating class main which is going to be the main class of where we are going to perform like the necessary action like sorting printing anything else and um, here i'm going to just put self and here we'll be passing one list which has the set of values of the toys so here i'm just passing it as e list and i'm just declaring that to the class so that it can be used with this name of self dot e list and after that in this class we'll have two functions which is fun one don't forget to include the self and pass and another function fun two and of self do the end and again pass so now going to the main function so if name is equal to equal to main then we are going to put a semicolon and one or people also ask like it is better to use a space like four spaces or a tab when you are using python my best practice which i would recommend you is different for different compilers and to avoid errors what you can do is as as uh, soon as you like just uh, declare a loop or a function something else you get you will put this uh, colon in the end and after the end just press enter it will automatically indent you the next line so if you get confused in any place use this method this will never go wrong i usually use this in different compilers like four spaces or one tab this will uh, use like this will help you to avoid the mistakes which you do when the indentation part and all so now i'm going to declare uh, like a list we are primary list which will be passing to the main class and i'm declaring it here itself and then uh, now i'm getting the number of uh, amount of objects we are going to get so here we are going to just sorry like here i'm going to do int of input as it is an integer and i'm going to run a loop for i in range of n and then here i'm going to get the name of the toy the brand of the toy and the category and the amount like the quantity which is present and the price so we are i'm going to just print name is equal to input and again which is the brand name i'm just giving it brand and input and after this i'm going to get the category so i'm just get cat is equal to input which is of type string and next one is the quantity so i'm just giving q u a quantity uh excuse me i use only short form so that it saves a lot of time and then the price so price it is going to be also an integer type and after this i'm going to just pass it to the list f list dot append as how you do or uh, like how you add elements to and list same like that instead of directly assigning it we are going to call this class object which we declared above and here i'm going to pass the name and brand and category and the quantity and the price so now we have all this the like as we have called the object class with five attributes here also we should declare the five attributes so i'm just taking the first letters of them name brand for b and category for c and quantity q and for price p so here i'm just going to remove this pass and we are going to define names how we'll be calling it inside the structure so self dot n is equal to n and self dot b is equal to b and self dot category is equal to c we are going to use c to like call it and q is equal to q and self dot price is equal to price so now our list is ready now after getting this we have to get this category which we are going to compare and print the values so i'm just typing as tc type category and i'm getting the input that is also in string format so we are going to get it as input and then below this i'm going to declare the object for the main class so object main of f list so i'll be passing this list f list which we declared right here to this function which will be called as e list in this particular class main and using this e list only we'll be performing the operations okay now most of the part is done 
so now I'm just going to call the two functions object dot fun one here I'm going to pass this category type which is given in the input and also let's not forgot our function two. I'm going to declare also function two dot fun two and yeah this is not declaring it's just calling the function so here I'm going to pass one parameter here we have passed dc and I'm going to get it in the name of t which declares like the type or category something and here I'm going to loop in through the structure for i in self dot a list as I said we'll be using self dot a list to address the thing and if I'm going to compare the category which is c if i dot c dot lower so why we are using lower is to perform all the comparison in the form like in lower case uh, as it is also told told in the question it should be case insensitive so we are using only lower case to compare it so here i'm just putting t dot lower and i'm going to just show you and print like what is going to happen and print of i'm going to print uh, i dot n and i dot b and i dot c and let's run and see i'll quickly paste the input so this question will be available in my blog so if you want to practice it you can use that so as we got the toy name brand name and the category so this is how it works and the category type is a which we passed over here as a so how we are going to display it is in this format exactly one after the another and don't forget we are also going to sort it according to the price in ascending order. So let's quickly do that and so in order to sort it we can't directly sort it so to sort it what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a dictionary and pass these value into it. So just declare a dictionary dict is equal to the curly braces and here I'm going to add it with the price as key. So it will be easy for us to sort the things. So I'm just dict of i dot price is equal to here I'm just passing it as in the form of list. So i dot name and i dot brand and i dot category and i dot quantity and i dot price so this will have the entire list and now if i just print dick you can see now i'm running it you can see a whole lot of dictionary with the key values as the price so now we can use the sorted function to sort this entire thing so as you already guys would have known about the sort function if you're following my videos dick is equal to we have to find like after sorted you will get the list as output so we have to convert into dict again so i'm just putting dict of sorted and then here i'm going to put dict dot items we put the braces and then comma here we are going to give key is equal to lambda of x is to x of 0 so x of 0 is nothing but we are going to sort it based on the key values so now after this if i print the order would got reversed so print of deck now you can see like the tutu is coming first and dora is coming second and bushika is coming third now after running it you can see Bushika is coming first and then after Dora and then there is Tutu. So now we got arranged in the sanding order. Okay, so now we are going to just print it line by line. So I'm just going to loop through it for K and Dick. We are going to just print print of Dick. Oops. Print of Dick of K of so we all have like only five in the one each of the keys. We have five values in each of the keys. So here I'm going to run another sub loop for j in range of five. 
so I'm just going to run a sub loop in this place I'm going to just delete and then so it gets automatically indented to the right place so dk of j so now it will print the each value in assigning order like as like shown in the here so now after this what we are going to do is print the second part where we will be printing the toy name and the quantity percent so for that we are going to use function to the same process as like this okay let's do it for i and self dot e list here we are going to just print the name i dot name and also we have to just uh, sort it based on the quantity like in the ascending order same so here also we are again going to declare a dictionary and sort it like the same thing so I'm just ddic and declaring it over here and after this here I'm going to put ddic of the quantity so it will be easy for us to sort it quantity is equal to i dot made so we can just print uh, the object and then the name so now if i print dedic we'll see all these values in the form of a list like 12 dot 20 and now i'm going to just sort it as like how i did the same thing i'm just going to copy paste it hope you don't mind and after this here I'm just going to change the name to Dedic. So this is why I name them similar so that it would be easy for me to perform and copy paste the things and then go with the flow. So for again for K in Dedic, we are going to print Dedic of K, comma K. So now let's run it. Yeah, and now we got the output is 10, 12, 20, 30, and 78. And yeah, so that's it for the code. It is very easy. Hope this is the easiest code that I've ever seen. So let's just quickly paste our second set of input and try. Yeah, one more thing we forgot here is if the category is not available, then we have to like print like toy with matching condition is not available. So over here we are going to just print it when the dictionary is not empty so if dig which will check whether it is empty or not if it is empty it will directly go to the else part if it is not empty it will print the same thing so here you can use the delete and then enter delete and then enter so this is how i indent and change the things you can also follow the same thing if you want so if else then we are going to print like the toy with matching criteria is not available in the toy store let's quickly copy paste it and yeah so now it is done i'm going to just copy paste the second set of input and check whether it is giving the right as output as the second one and yeah now we just delete it I'm deleting it and then paste the new input and then run. So we got exactly the output which is given in the sample output too. And yeah, hope you guys liked the video and stay tuned for the next video. It is a very important video as you can see if you're following my channel. I've been posting MCQs frequently. So I'm going to just give you some idea on how you can clear the IRA without this coding part. And in the next video, so stay tuned i'm really excited for the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye Doraemons. until then have a good food and sleep and don't forget to practice it and don't worry if go things doesn't go in the way what you think things will work when the time comes so bye bye with that note i'm ending this video and i'll see you in the next one